Good day, YouTube. Today is a Saturday. It's the 3rd of March, 2018. This is upside down. This is a SP2G PV speaker. It has a 15-inch Black Widow uh, bass speaker and a large horn. I have many similar PV speakers in my uh, collection and for my mobile DJ business. And I've always had the dream to take not one of these, but four of these, put them on some sort of a machine, and send them into the air about 15 feet. I do a lot of car shows and cruisings, that kind of thing. And uh, if I could get these above the crowd, above the cars, the sound would travel so much better. And I would have a much, uh, you know, the listeners would have a much better experience at this event but i've never had the brain st uh, storm that i had the other day when this machine became available to me so this is what we call in the construction industry a genie lift it's designed to put a person in a basket you can see the basket sitting over there on the floor um put a person in a basket Hit a button and go into the air so you can install stuff. Uh, plumbers, electricians, everybody uses lifts like this. This is a much older model. It was taken out of service. It can no longer haul people. But I don't want it to haul people. I want to build a frame on this thing to take four big PV speakers just like that one and put them in the air. So, today is day one. We have the basket off. We have some mounting points. It's time to do some measuring, make a uh, some sort of a drawing, and we can start building this frame. And the goal is to be able to put a, a frame across here that I can set that speaker on, on one on this side, to set one of them on this side, one of them on this side, and then cantilever back and put one more on this other end. Now, on the, the speaker's upside down because there's a, uh, you know, these are pole mountable. This is actually a cast aluminum, I'm thinking. Um, and I think this is inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, or something like that. So I would put four pegs on a steel frame that goes around this lift and then set the speaker on that peg. Um, I would probably also put some support out for some more flat uh, position to set that speaker on so it doesn't wiggle. And then I would put some means, weld some eye bolts or something, so I could strap it down. The side of the speaker has uh, handholds, and they're substantial. They're substantial enough to tie them down. The last thing I'd need is for one of these big things to fall off. That would be crazy. So uh, I'm going to start measuring this up, making a drawing, and cutting some steel today. I've got, uh, I always buy more steel than I need for projects because that way I don't have to go to the steel store so much. And they're not open on the weekends when I need to do this stuff. I think I have enough steel to build this. Maybe have to get a little something, but I think I've got enough. So I'm going to build, we're going to start off with just one piece that goes across and catches um, across here and then one that goes from this end to this end one that goes from this end to this end and then across and across I'm gonna need a lot more support so we'll figure out how to come from up here down to here from up here down to here maybe there's a crossbar here so I'll just uh, you know start building this thing start playing with a little bit it'll come together um, I want to make it as narrow as I can, but with the ability to rotate these speakers. So if I want to do sound in four directions, then they can all be straight out from their positions. If I want to do sound in three uh, three directions, you know, one that way, one that way, this one that way, but be able to spin this one around and also project that direction. Or maybe I only need to go you know, from like here to here. So these end speakers would want to be able to be swiveled. 
and then still tie them down. So that's the goal. I'm gonna start getting a tape measure, getting a piece of paper, see if this thing comes together. Don't no start to cut stuff till I can figure out what this thing really gonna look like. Um, so I brought that speaker into the shop. So I got something to measure by and then test fit later. And then the goal is to build a trailer. I bought a trailer kit uh, from uh, Amazon, I think. And uh, it came with a, a five foot axle or an axle designed for a five foot wide trailer, I guess I should say. Um, you know, the springs, shackles, fenders, tires, wheels, all the wiring, electrical, the tongue, the tongue jack, and all that. Um, and all I need is steel to build the trailer. As soon as I know what size this trailer needs to be. Um, and I'm going to try to make it as small as possible. A for parking, B for weight. And, um, you know, when I'm in a car show situation, I don't want to take up uh, all the space of potentially one more show car. So this is kind of exciting. I have... Uh, like three weekends to complete this for I have a car show coming up. It's the second Saturday in April the 7th, I believe. And that's where I want to debut this machine. So I have a lot ahead of me and I'm about to get started. So I'll check back with you when I have something a little more to show. Well, guys, it's the next day. It's Sunday. We're back in the shop. We were working on the uh, uh, speaker tower and uh, spent most of the day yesterday, amongst other things, uh, getting my design on paper. I actually uh, made a list of the links to cut all my steel and then got up this morning and got all the steel cut, for at least for the main uh, structure, and uh, got the holes drilled, bolted into the mast with some grade 8 bolts. Um, I'm not going to trust this thing just with these two bolts. We're going to get up here and come back down with something more uh, and probably just a little bit of a kicker to keep the wiggle out of this. So that would be a, way too much stress on just that point. So there will be more uh, connection points to the raised tower before we're said and done with this thing. So I ended up with the, about 36 and a quarter inch, uh, one, two three um, cross members and uh, these were 68 inches I'm 32 uh, going forward or yeah and 36 going back or vice versa something like that so I've got a piece of uh, two inch angle iron C clamped under here this piece is just sitting there um, I'll probably uh, just tack weld it in place and uh, let's just start assembling this thing a little bit. I uh, won't weld everything permanent in case I needed to get it back apart in case I goofed up something. Um, but that's the process. So these uh, cross members all the same. We'll weld onto here. Uh, we'll figure out if I'm closing these in or leaving them open for some reason a little bit later. So still kind of designing as we go, but I think it's coming together. I've got the lift up right now a few sections. You know, just raised up a couple feet. But everything will clear the base on both sides, um, front and rear. Um, so we're looking okay. So this thing is a little hard to put in your head um, to get a real good design. So we're just going to go slowly, carefully uh, assemble this thing. Once I get it tacked up pretty good and she's pretty solid, we'll set a speaker up there and uh, make sure everything works like I think it will. But I think we're on the right track. So we'll get some more... Uh, put together and I'll check back with you shortly. Well, we got a little bit more mocked up, ready to show you, ready to get some welding done. So I uh, threw a piece of one by two underneath uh, from side to side. So I had something to set my, this is inch and a half, uh, eighth inch square box tubing. So we got some nice ends all butted up there, all clamped together. And then uh, for the other side, uh, I got this one. I just used a strap. It all fits really good. Um, and we're just going to uh, weld this together. I'm going to throw you up on a stand. Let's. I'm not going to fully weld this stuff yet. You know, I'm pretty confident, but I'm not dead sure. You know what I mean? So uh, it'd be a lot less to grind if we uh, if I actually made an error here somewhere or decide to change my design a little bit. So. Uh, 
Watch your eyes. We'll weld a little bit of this together and pull the clamps off and might try to set a speaker up there and see what the heck. One more, one more. All tacked together. Just a guy, so. Okay, well, it's uh, coming along. I think I'm going to uh, pull the clamps and stuff and maybe uh, set a speaker up there and just see how this thing works a little bit. Um, it rides up a little bit high on the front side. I think that's by design. I think, yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of play in here, which is why I have this thing. It's getting kind of wore out. So as the weight gets put out here, it'll tend to level itself out. So uh, I think that's just fine. Okay, it's coming along, guys. It's coming along. Let me uh, pull some clamps and start playing with this a little bit, and I'll, we'll come back when I have something a little more to show. Well, we've made a little bit of progress here. Um, after some fitting and some thinking, what I decided to do is I cut a piece that went from here to here. Uh, right now, it's just clamped in place. It's uh, cut just a tick long, and so we could kind of tap it in. It fits good. Cut a piece for across the top of the tower, like I would mentioned earlier. And then we cut this uh, angled gusset piece, which is going to give it a ton of strength. Um, and really take the wobble out of it. So um, that works good because it's completely out of the way for the speaker to come this way, this speaker to come this way, and this speaker to come this way. That was my issue before is where could I put some bracing? I think what I'm gonna end up with before it's all over is uh, wherever I put the pin that anchors the speaker, I'll end up with probably another brace going back and on this side. This one should work for that. Um, and then there might be an issue where I have to come out in all four speaker locations uh, for some forward support. And then the back, uh, I chose to hold the frame itself tight to the machine um, so that I didn't have big corners sticking out because uh, in the down position, people will walk around this thing. And I'm probably going to have to go out and then back in. I put that speaker support out here. Uh, so that's kind of the, where we're headed. So this is looking good. I'm trying to keep the weight down a little bit too because uh, this thing has a limit and I'll be at the limit. But I have to have it strong too and I can't deal with aluminum so uh, just not equipped to uh, weld it. So we're sticking with steel. It's eighth inch. Plenty strong. Um, I think I have a good design going and uh, should be good to go. I gotta take a break. We're gonna go have lunch with a friend and I'll come back and uh, start welding this thing back up and uh, go from there. Catch you in just a second. Well, the afternoon sun's popping in the barn, making the light kind of weird for filming. Anyway, uh, more progress. So everything is, is still tacked, it's not fully welded, it's still tacked. I picked up some one inch uh, black plumbing pipe heavy wall um, and cut ended up cutting two and three eighths inch pieces 
to weld to the frame uh, where the speaker stand mount and the bottom of the speaker to rest. Now that doesn't make it very steady or sturdy. It's still going to wobble on that. So I'm probably uh, going to end up with a brace from here out and from here this way. And then uh, put some tie downs on it so the speaker ties down. So I believe this one's going to fit real nice and have the ability to point it in most any direction I want on this side. And uh, I have to do my little A-frame on that side, and then this one will match this one. So it's working out pretty good, just like I thought. I didn't have to tear anything out. Plenty of room on my brace. Again, this is the largest speaker that I intend to put on this rack. I might have one that's a little wider, but it's not that deep. So I say, uh, let's try to send this one in the air. Hmm. Let's see. I got to... Decide which direction. Hang on, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Phew, a lot of dust in here. So uh, all four of those uh, lights have to be on. I'm wiggling it, there we go. All four lights are on, that means uh, all four points that sits on the ground are on the ground properly. It's not gonna wobble in the air. But we'll tell those four lights, come on, this thing goes nowhere. So let's send this in the air, at least as far as I can reach. And push the button. Yo. That's not cool. Hmm. I wish the uh, pump would quit running. <laughs> wow. How can we stop this? I guess unplug the battery, huh? Hadn't done that before. I guess that's why it's uh, why I have it and it's not still in use. So We uh, picked it up a few feet off the ground um, with ease. Get over here out of the direct sunlight. So I think it's working great. Other than the machine is weirding out on me. So uh, I'm going to continue and uh, go ahead and weld these other ones down. And then uh, go to work on this other end. We'll make some pieces to fill in these gaps so that the speaker has something to uh, rest against once it's tied down. This one should be okay because it already has that brace that was kind of part of the design was pretty sure I was gonna to have to put these in I didn't know if I was gonna to have to have one that stuck out I really don't want it because if uh, you know people go walk by this thing and get snagged by it is not cool if I end up putting one I'll end up with some flat bar out here go around it and back in so that it would be a glancing blow like I'm gonna do on that end so progress progress is made well, I think we've made pretty good progress today. I didn't get it done or anything, but uh, all the structures there, and I have everything fully welded. I don't even think I'm going to bother to weld on the bottom side. If I could take this apparatus off and flip it over and weld it right side up, I would. But I'm not going to weld this thing upside down. It's strong enough as it is, and uh, it'll look fine. So I need to grind on some welds a little bit and uh, probably truck on down to Harbor Freight and grab some of those. They have these little uh, tie-down D-rings that uh, you can either bolt or weld on. And uh, I think I need to get a handful of those, 8, 10, 12 of them or something, and, and then I'll weld them on the uh, inside of the square tubes such that I could strap the speaker down. I don't want to put them on top or on the outside, but put them on the inside um, so there's no obstructions on this plane, so the speaker won't run into them or anything. So I think that'll be pretty good. Then I'll probably take a set of straps. Well, I guess I'd need eight straps and uh, shorten them up so they don't have super long tails. So I can strap them down in most any position. So uh, everything looks pretty good. A um, couple welds maybe got a little bit messy. Gap here or there, but not too bad. 
So the kicker is very strong. I stood all the way out here and uh, made that lift go up, so it's good. I have all of my little speaker mounts, one, two, three, and the extension at the end. I'm still going to uh, take some flat bar from here out to here and then back because I don't want that shin getter. Uh, so it will be a uh, some nice angled piece there, just some flat bar to keep someone from smacking that if it's in this down position. It'll typically be on a trailer and all that, but uh, I just don't like to build in shin getters like that. Um, the rest of it should be okay. I probably will box in the ends of these square tubes, come through and grind everything off. But uh, let's pop the ground clamp off here for a sec. And uh, I'll set it up as far as I can reach. That's as far as I can reach. And, uh, you know, it, I don't know what the real height of this thing is, but it, obviously it's uh, just barely gone up. So it's uh, pretty cool. I think I'm going to have the only one. It's going to be awesome. So I look forward to finishing it and uh, debuting it. So next weekend, um, I want to finish this up, including paint it. And uh, I should probably spend a little bit of time this coming week in designing the trailer so uh bought the trailer kit i think i showed it on another video um i'll build a purpose sized trailer for this thing it will be five foot wide i had to decide that up front because that's i had to buy the axle in the right width um the question will be the length um and so we'll do some measuring and the chances are it's just gonna end up be eight foot and that's fine so Thank you guys for watching my videos, hanging out in the shop with me this weekend. Uh, subscribe and share my videos if you wouldn't mind. We'll see if we can make this channel uh, pay for itself. So at the uh, end of a couple years, which is uh, we're in about 1.25 years of running this channel, uh, it still doesn't pay for itself. So if you guys could uh, help me out and share it with people you might... Uh, think would be interested because um, at the end of a couple years if, if it doesn't you know pay for itself we'll probably just let her go but we're having fun with it so um, thanks you guys for participating and we'll catch you on the next one